can do this. This is easy. All I gotta do is put on this thing here, yeah. take a sip of this, and I should be good to go. No, no, no. I'll show you how a real professional does it. Hey everyone, happy Mother's Day. A big shout out to all you moms that are juggling your jobs and babies and toddlers and teenagers. Um, today we're going to be making ceviche. Ceviche is a Peruvian dish that's made out of fish and it's actually not cooked in an oven or a stove. It's cooked with acidity. So it's cooked with lime and lemon and you will see the process. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our white fish. I'm using red snapper. You can use any kind of white fish or some people can use salmon. I personally don't love it with salmon, but you can use it and it will come out great also. I'm sure if you like it. So we're gonna, I already skinned the fish and I washed it and I have it in this bowl. I used four fillets and we're going to take our fish and we're gonna cut it into cubes. You can make it into really small pieces. You can make it into chunkier pieces. I've seen it even done like sliced. So this is the size that I'm making them into. I usually cut it like this and then I'll cut that in half. So. I have sizes like that and again you can slice it really thin or you can make them chunkier. And I'm kind of wishing right now that I was on a beach eating ceviche. But instead I'm in Harrison, New York and I'm making ceviche and I'm thankful. But I could dream of being on a beach which is I guess why I wanted to take this outside because I feel like it's an, an outdoorsy kind of food. So after we finish cubing this, you will see that I'm going to put it in a Pyrex and you have to be careful what you put it in. You don't want to put it in something that's reactive because of all the lime that you're going to be adding and the lemon if you are doing lemon um, because it could get that taste like the metal taste and it could change your whole picture. Next, I'm going to take our fish and I'm going to place it in our Pyrex. And you want to spread it out evenly. So now we have our ceviche like that. It's flat in our Pyrex. And I'm going to take our limes. So there's a little secret that I'm not sure a lot of people know, but I think if you put your limes or lemons in the microwave for like five seconds or ten seconds you'll get more lime juice. I may be wrong but I'm pretty sure that's true. We don't have a microwave so I don't know. And people are probably like what? You don't have a microwave? We have not had a microwave since we got married and that is totally not intentional but when we got married our microwave broke and we never fixed it when we lived in our first house and then we realized, hey, we don't really need one. We just got a toaster and the toaster does everything for us. So we're gonna take the juice of five lemon, limes. You could do a mix of lemons and lime. So I'm gonna take my cup of lime juice Wow, it's exactly a cup. And I'm gonna pour it over my ceviche. I mean, I'm sorry, over my red snapper. Yum. And the lime, and a little bit of salt. And the wind will blow the salt. And maybe it'll flow like in my mouth a little bit so I'll feel like I'm at the beach, perfect. A little bit of pepper. We're going to cover it and we will put it in the refrigerator for about an hour, an hour and a half, even two hours. So now we're back and I'm ready to start chopping up my vegetables. You'll see along the way how many things, like depending on how many pieces of fish you use, how many vegetables you'll use. 
So I'm probably only gonna end up using three tomatoes, but we'll see, I have four. So we'll chop up our tomatoes. Red onion. This is another one of those dishes that you can leave things out if you don't like them. I'm gonna use these jalapenos because they do not have fresh jalapenos in the store. So this is an interesting twist. I've never used it with roasted red jalapenos. I actually don't think I've ever had a roasted red jalapenos, but something tells me they'll be good. Or you could use, which I have used, the chopped green chilies, and that's perfectly fine instead of using fresh jalapeno. But I'm gonna be adventurous. And you'll notice in your when you when you go take out the ceviche from the refrigerator, you'll notice that it went from like the pink color that it comes to a white, almost like opaque um, color, and that is showing you that it. Is out of the refrigerator. It's cold. And it's something that you should definitely serve immediately. Don't like make it way in advance. Um, I'm going to cut our avocado. I'm gonna cube it. Ooh, look how pretty that is. So the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our ceviche. I'm actually going to show you how you could see that it turned white. It turned into more of a white color. And I am going to take all my vegetables and mix them in. delicious and just so refreshing. I wish I could get my child to eat this, but that ain't gonna happen. So this is what it looks like. I will bring it over. So now that we have our ceviche ready, yum, we will do our secret. You're gonna take half an orange and you're gonna squeeze it in. Just give it that orangey flavor if you want. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And, okay, do that. And then I'm going to show you three different ways of plating it. So, the I would say the most typical way that a ceviche is served in a Peruvian restaurant is with sweet potato and corn. So that is big pieces of corn called chocolo. This is how they call it. So we're gonna do it like that. And then we'll do our mixture. And we'll plate it like that. Then another way you could do it is you could serve it on little corn tortillas. garnish, a piece of avocado on top, avocado on top, and why not, let's just add some more cilantro because why not, there's some cilantro, and my last way of doing it is, this is more like Cubanish, hence Cuban kitchen. So we're going to take our ceviche and serve it in the martini glass. 
and you could serve it, you could fill it all the way, or if you, maybe you want to do it like an appetizer so you do half of it, and then you take it and you can add, sorry, some plantain chips around it. That, you could do it with real plantains, yellow plantains and fry them, platano frito, or you can do tostones, which are green, um, green plantains and fried also. So this is our ceviche. Hope you enjoy. Bye.